CPA is a community organization, it's a grassroots organization, it's about lifting the voices of working people, families, young people, people who actually don't have a voice in the community. We work on cases closely with CPA and they provide um, support in the non-legal components of the case. CPA is incredibly good at encouraging workers to believe that they can be leaders and that they can be part of a broader campaign and can have a broader impact. We need to work with all different organizations, from service organizations to labor unions to legal institutions, so that people in the community feel fully supported. And it's just been amazing, the broader vision that they're trying to build. This partnership has really been able to help us to be able to grow in exciting ways and actually make the community feel more confident and courageous to actually stand up for their rights. I think one of our most important cases with CPA has been the Pho Clement case. Workers at a two restaurant chain here in San Francisco were not being paid overtime or minimum wages, not getting meal breaks and other workplace violations. One of the workers had gone to CPA to seek assistance and help and CPA really worked with that worker to build him as a leader and he ultimately went and organized other workers in the restaurant to come forward. We filed claims on behalf of eight of those workers and work with the state enforcement agency to then get relief for all the workers in the restaurant, including those who were too scared to come forward. I can't think of a more fitting recipient for the Bill Soro Award. Bill Soro was an activist and leader in the Aya Hotel campaign. Of course, he's an activist, he's an organizer, but he had really the genuine passion for the kind of society that we want to live in. And for us, it's a, it's a tremendous honor to actually get this award, but it's also just a huge responsibility for us to continue what Bill has done and the, the legacy that he's left behind.